one thing I distinctly remember was this one time we used to come and you know used to collect the seed and all this vivili and Sarah Island when the when it's low tide you could just see it you no know, for miles and you could just go and collect it and cook it. And so I had this little bucket that I used to take with me every time I went and my gum boots. So this one time I went, I got my bucket and I started collecting. As soon as I left the mainland to walk towards the island, I was collecting it. By the time I reached uh, the island, my grandmother's house, I had, my bucket was just like full to the brim. And then she came and she saw it and she was like, what's all this? And I was like, no, I brought all this for us to eat. And she was like, no, it's too much. You can't eat it. You have to take it back. And I was so upset. I was like, why? I brought this for us. And she was like, no. There's no fridge you can keep it in. It's all going to go bad. You should just take it back and put it in the ocean. You only take the amount you need to eat. I was really upset. You know, I was like, but I was being helpful. I was bringing so much food for us. But then she taught me an important lesson that day, you know, about conservation, about sustainability. But it wasn't that big fancy term. It was just her telling me what they practice every day. That when you go to the water, you just get what you need. You leave the rest there for everyone else. You think of the other people in the village. You think of the future. And I wanted to be a part of that. I wanted to do something that contributed to that. It was really cool. As the first job I got was with the Itoki Affairs Board, was to be a conservation officer. And you know, they look after all the villages. Eh? And Itoke like own 87% of land and custodians, customary rights to all these fishing grounds. So when you talk about conservation, when you talk about resource management, you have to work with them. Eh? And I think it was a really good ground for me to go in there and learn about our systems, learn about our structures and how we can assist communities. I just hope that we always have enough fish, we always have enough food, you know, for our children, for future generations and that the practices we adopt that become commonplace are the ones that ensure a sustainable future for Fiji.